Chris Pluggable here, back with your Mr. Weenie relationship communication technique of the day. Check it out. We're going to be talking about negative interpretation. Oh, yeah. This one is always fun. And here's what it is. I'm going to define it for you as short as possible. It's this. Watch this. It's I assume that you assume the worst of me. Ready? Watch this. I assume, now think about how much brain power this takes, that you assume the worst of me. And let me tell you how this plays out. All right, watch this. Um, This is where you take a benign comment, a simple statement, and then all of a sudden you've turned it into an attack. So it looks like if, um, just say a man and a woman are husband and wife are hanging out on the back porch and she goes, man, look, I think maybe the grass needs to be cut. Simple statement, just a simple thing about what's going on with the grass. And he takes it, oh, I'm going to assume that you assume I don't do anything around here. What you're just saying is I'm lazy. Now, listen, now all of a sudden we start arguing about arguing. I never said that. I never meant that. What are you talking about? And then you're like, but, well, now that we're in there, we might as well go there. The problem is, is that if you can't take, the reality is I think a lot of us speak in passive aggressive terminology. And so we're constantly using passive aggressive talk to one another to get people to do something because we can't be direct. Now that becomes a problem. So I want to help if your marriage is struggling, if your relationship is struggling, listen to me, do not use passive aggressive communication technique to help the other person try to get the understanding of what you want. When you're, I call it raw. When you're raw, when the relationship has friction, people need direct communication that is positive and it's very helpful. And so what you want to start saying is like, I would love it if you would mow the lawn for me or would you do me a favor and mow the lawn as opposed to saying something passive aggressive. Now, if the person says it just like that, uh, hey, I think the grass needs to be cut, we can't automatically assume they're assuming the worst of us. We can't go there. Our relationship just... We've got to let that one go. But what we can do is approach for clarification. And we simply ask this, and you have to let the person's answer be true. Were you saying in a passive aggressive way that I need to cut the lawn? And if the person says, oh, no, I just was noticing how long the grass was. Somebody probably should cut that. We should have a discussion. Would you like to cut it or would you like me? Now, all of a sudden, we've taken the drama out of the conversation and we're pursuing one another. But so many times we kind of go Victorian. Remember, we've talked about this. There's three types of relationships. There's the uh, relationship that pursues one another. There's a relationship that avoids one another. And then there's the nagging relationship, right? And we, because we want this kind of relationship, we got to be direct and pursuing one another with clarity. So the negative interpretation is I assume, you assume the worst of me. And we take benign, simple statements and we twist them. So here's what I want you to do today. The next time someone says to you something that, might, that you take as a passive aggressive attack, approach for clarification. And if you're a person that maybe uses passive aggressive language, start using a direct approach of asserting your need. Now, let me tell you how you do this because this is really hard. And ladies, I'm going to help you because I think this is where, um, again, guys do this, I'm sure as well, but ladies do this probably more so. What happens is you're wanting to get something done and there's this thing going on you called control. And so what you end up doing is parenting your spouse, all right? You end up parenting your husband. You end up trying to get them to do it using motivation that you might do with a child, all right? The problem with that is it's very demeaning, okay? Now, but if you say, I need, I have a need, it would make me happy. Wouldn't it be really great? Would you help me out? Could you mow the grass? All of a sudden, you've asserted a need, and men in general love to fix things, love to get to it. And if the guy says, the typical response, I'll get to that later, you're allowed to say when i would love for you to do that when now here's where men in general go back oh what you don't think i'm going to do it no this isn't a you've got to stop the passive aggressive battle before it starts by saying i'm not being passive aggressive i'm just really just curious it helps me feel at ease because i'm a nervous wreck and i'm a control freak and this is where you're using humor to sort of repair the relationship i'm because i'm a control freak it really helps me to know when you're probably going to do this and would it be helpful if i gave you a reminder or do you just want to know and do it yourself Do you see how you can kind of take the sting? You're taking that sting out of the relationship communication technique and you're just simply getting to the place where you're being direct, loving, and sensitive that the fact that you might be coming off just like a little bit of a passive-aggressive jerk. So 
We don't want to do negative interpretation. We want to be direct, and we don't assume that they assume the worst of us.